I was there at the march. We were there standing for the word of the Most High. Kyrie Irving, we've never met him. He's not a part of us. However, he has the right to examine and explore his roots. And this is what we teach. So he has the right to say he's Semitic. He is Semitic. We are a Semitic people. It's disingenuous to say that he doesn't have the right to explore his roots, to examine or even state that he's Semitic. <laughs> The video you're about to watch on the Self Talk YouTube channel is for fair use purposes. Okay, so we got the leader of the Israelites speaking on the media, labeling him a hate group. For those of you who missed that clip, I got it right here. Here's the video. Hey Kyrie, um, there's a group of about 100 people outside uh, wearing the shirt of a group called Israel United in Christ, a group labeled as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Um, they were outside in support of you and handing out anti-Semitic literature on the plaza of people walking by. And I was wondering if I can get your reaction to that. I didn't see it. Uh, what happened? There was a group outside? There was a group outside, 100 possibly more. They were wearing a shirt uh, called Israel United in Christ. Uh, they're a group labeled yeah, as a hate group a, by the I Soviet think that's a conversation for uh, another day. I'm just here to focus on the game. Kyrie, but you, you've said this whole time that you didn't know what kind of like, what basically what kind of voice you had. And but if these are the people that are out here in your name, do, do you feel like you have, that's a consequence of what you've done? Uh, Again, I'm just here to focus on the game. Okay, so I covered that twice on my YouTube channel. Kyrie's reaction, Jason Whitlock's reaction, and now the leader of the Israelites' reaction of being labeled a hate group. Here's what the leader of the Israelites had to say. Comedy Hype News, YouTube channel. Here's the video. I think he responded correctly. They seek to destroy black men and black women that stand up for any type of solidarity. That's their goal. Just like J. Edgar Hoover said, the worst thing to the United States of America is Negro unity. Anytime black men and black women come together, even talking about family unity, it's called hate speech. It's anti-Semitic. And any star that stands with us, their job is to destroy them from within and without. Their agenda is to destroy the black community. Just like J. Edgar Hoover, like I said, he made a famous statement the worst thing to the United States of America is Negro unity. When you read John 13, 34, Christ said, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. When that's taught throughout the black community, again, it's called hate speech. They even put out uh, lies that we murdered people in New Jersey. That's all slanderous. And guess what? Many people believe that. Oh, they murdered people. I would have been in jail if I murdered somebody in New Jersey. Are you kidding me? We have to get a working definition of anti-Semitic. The word anti means against. Shemitic refers to the sons of Shem. There are 26 sons of Shem, which includes Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. We are Shemitic. It also includes Arabs. They are Shemitic. It also includes Chinese and Japanese and East Indians. They are Shemitic. Those are lying, debauchery organizations. That's what they do, lie. They even went online and updated and changed the definition to mean anti-Jewish person. That's not what anti, the word Jew is not found in Shemitic. It's not there, but they make it up. And whatever white folks say, we run with it. Okay, guys, and before I highlight the second clip of today's video, be sure to smack that thumbs up button that helps the channel grow. And I really do appreciate that. Salute, let's get right back into it. Okay, so in the second clip for today's video, we got the leader of the Israelites responding to being labeled Black Hebrew Israelites by the media. Here's a video. Do you think the Black Hebrew Israelites get a bad rap? And if so, why do you think that is? Well, one of the things is the statement you just made, Black Hebrew Israelites. That's, remember during the time of Malcolm, they were not called the Muslims, they said they're Black Muslims. Right, right. What does that insinuate? You're fake, you're a fraud. And many of our people run with the narratives of the Jewish media. You're the black Hebrew Israelites. But we consist of Native American Indians and Latinos. How are we just black? But that's the narrative they put out there. Like black identity extremists that Karen Bass went against the FBI on our behalf for. Okay? So we got to stop that. We got to definitely learn to love and respect one another as a people. We're the Israelites. That's who we are. That's who we be. 
Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Uh, I would love to see more of you guys subscribe. YouTube is currently saying 96% of y'all are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. We definitely need to drop that down to at least 50 to 70%. 96 is crazy, man. Y'all coming to my channel every day. Show me love and support. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, smack that thumbs up button. That helps the channel grow. Yeah, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Self Talk News. And while I have y'all attention, y'all can go click on any of these other videos. That helps support the channel. You can also hit the Cash App if you want to show some more love as well. Self Talk YouTube. I really do appreciate y'all time. Happy holiday season. We out. If you made this far in the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below.